Pete, tell me about the value of the 1-0 start, how important that is for our football team. Well, it's very important because anytime you have a, a clean slate and uh, you start fresh, uh, you always want to be on top of the conference race because it really puts you behind the eight ball if you're not. So 1-0 uh, puts us uh, with everybody else as 1-0 a tie for first place. And then, you know, you take them one at a time and try to win every week and stay on top. Okay, taking the 1-0 start out of it, talk about how valuable that win was for us, that performance was for us. Well, it was a very much a team performance. We won that football game in all three phases. Nickel State was a team that we'd only beat twice in the last eight years. Uh, beat us 37 to seven with practically the same football team back. So the fact that we win and had some, such a dominating performance was very important, not only uh, for the win, but for the mindset of our football team. Okay, um, the shutout for the defense, uh, you know, the win's the thing, but shutouts are pretty rare nowadays. Well, they, they are. Shutouts are very, very hard to come by. You just watch the ticker every Saturday and Sunday. You just don't see goose eggs anymore. So the fact that, you know, in a 60-minute football game, our defense uh, gave up no points was huge, especially when they had the ball first and go inside the five and we held them four downs. I was very, very proud of that performance. Okay, the offensive uh, eruption, if you will, 396 total yards very balanced. Talk about how that happened. Well, you know, we, we said it all along that we had to run the football on Saturday and we did that very well, which then in turn opened up our throwing game. And, uh, you know, when you can run the ball and throw it and you're as balanced as we want to be like we were on Saturday, I mean, it's, uh, it's tough. So uh, very proud of our offense. I thought Brent Henderson played a great game. I thought we blocked well, ran the ball well, receivers only I mean, caught the ball well. I mean, it was just a total overall offensive performance and very, very proud of our offense. Very good. Um, let's now turn the page to McNeese. Uh, let's, you've seen some tape. Uh, first talk about uh, uh, the overall perspective of playing McNeese and the importance of this game and the rivalry. Well, year in, year out, McNeese is going to always be a preseason favorite to win our league. Uh, it's a great program, uh, very well coached football team by Matt Viator and his staff with excellent players. So it's always a team that, you know, you know that uh, to get to the conference championship, I mean, uh, it usually goes through McNeese State. So this is a very important game. We both come into to, uh, Turpin Stadium on Saturday night 1-0. Uh, we had a hard-fought game last year that was very, very close right down to the wire, and uh, we're expecting another great game on Saturday offensively and defensively. Let's talk about the challenges that McNeese presents you. Well, McNeese comes in uh, with a very high-powered offense, an offense where they're featuring uh, a two-headed monster at quarterback with Cody Stroud and Riley Dodge. Both of them complement each other very, very well. They're both different style of quarterbacks. Uh, Cody being more of a pocket guy, Riley being, you know, more of a, uh, you, you know, uh, quarterback run game kind of guy that can still throw it and can run very well. A little bit like what we faced last week in, in uh, LaQuentin Caston, uh, but throws it real, real well. So uh, he's a guy that we're going to really have to lock in on uh, both quarterbacks. Uh, they're both very, very good, very well coached, and you know, we'll have our work cut out on us on Saturday. The th other thing that McNeese does, they, they're very loaded in the backfield, very loaded at receiver, and probably have one of the best coast offensive lines we faced all year. So this is a team that's very high powered, have a lot of good players and uh, very balanced in what they do as far as attacking you offensively. Okay, I know that you don't look at a whole lot of their offense, their, their uh, defense, but uh, uh, you know they're gonna be very good on that side of the ball. Well, you know, their defense coordinator Mike Collins does a good job uh, and you know, they, they do a great job in, in all aspects of their defense, I mean, they're uh, a 4-2-5, uh, they, they can play coverage, they can play pressure, they're very, very physical, tackle very well, very, very fast, uh, a defense with a lot of speed. So uh, we'll have to really execute well to, to have a chance to move the ball in this defense on Saturday. Okay, four of your last six uh, conference games are at Turpin Stadium. Talk about the opportunity to play at home on Saturday. Well, there's nothing like playing at home. You know, we've had a long stretch. We've been on the road for three weeks in a row. We come home to face McNeese State, which, you know, we all know that uh, if you play the Cowboys, you do want to play them at home. And then, you know, uh, four of our 
last six conference games are at home, and that's exciting because anytime we get a chance to have a stretch in Turpin Stadium, uh, it's what we want. And uh, great for our, our fans, great for our student body, uh, great for the Demon Nation. So uh, we're looking forward to a lot of games at home here in the, the next seven games. Brad, let's first talk about uh, the value of the 1-0 start in the conference race. Man, uh, this has been my first year from what the guys tell me how it's been the last couple of years. Uh, it's a big confidence boost, and uh, I think it's uh, getting us started in the direction we want to go as far as winning the conference championship and making a run for the national title. So it's a big, it's a big, 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 you know, confidence booster, uh, what we're trying to get done this season or what, you know, what everybody has built around us. So I think it's a pretty good start for us. Um, Saturday you had great success both running the ball and throwing it. Talk about what made the offense so successful on Saturday. The game plan. Uh, it all started with Coach Cooley and uh, him getting us prepared this week, a lot of film study. So when I went out there, it was just on instinct. And I think the offensive line played well, the uh, offensive, uh, the receivers played well, and the running backs ran the ball very hard. So, I mean, it was just like a unit thing. Uh, everybody chipped in, and uh, we played, you know, we played our role just as, uh, you know, just as we planned. So, I mean, I think it helped us a lot as far as, like, you know, just getting that, that I guess, that, that explosive plays that we've been looking for all season. Okay, uh, you've got four of your remaining six conference games at home in Turpin Stadium. Tell me how that will uh, help the team and, and how you feel about that. It'll help the team a lot. I think uh, it'll give us, it'll get a chance for our supporters to come out and watch us play. I think they've been, they played a vital role in uh, getting this program off the feet, uh, getting enough off the ground. So, I mean, just to come out and play in front of our home fans would be pretty good. And for the, you know, for the fans and the, the family members to come see the players play, I mean, that did a great deal. Okay. Uh, Saturday night, we play McNeese. Uh, McNeese has always been a team that's right up there at the top of the conference standings. I know you haven't had an opportunity to look at any uh, game tape of any extent yet, but uh, what do you expect uh, going into Saturday night's game? What kind of the challenge are you going to get from McNeese? Well, I hear uh, Magnese is pretty good defense. They're pretty fast on the ball, but just like any conference, other, in, just like any other conference game, we're gonna come out and play hard to win. Uh, Magnese or any other uh, conference contender, uh, we're just gonna come out and play hard. I think uh, the coach is gonna come with a great game plan as they do every week, and uh, we're just gonna have to go out there and execute and play hard, play with a lot of confidence as we did Saturday, you know, and bring the win home. Okay. Last question: uh, How much have you heard from your teammates or your coaches? Uh, uh, since you've been here about the rivalry with McNeese, are you aware of uh, how prime a rivalry this is? I heard a lot from uh, uh, about this game. Uh, being that McNeese is a great team, and uh, we always it, it, it's always a dog fight when Northwestern and McNeese play. And uh, me coming in this year, I just you know we're just gonna go out there and win every game. Uh, just go out there and help my team win. Uh, that's what we did with Nichols. Uh, just play hard every week. I mean, I, you know, we'll go get, I think we're going to be well prepared for Magnese this week. Uh, you know, a lot of credit to coaches. I mean, we think we got a hard working coaching staff. We're just going to go out there and execute a lot of film study. You know, just back to the drawing board. Talk about uh, the 1 0 start and how important that is for the Demons. Um, it's real good for our team and for our confidence. And um, it should get us on the road for the rest of the conference. Okay. Um, the last two weeks, you played LSU and SMU. Yes, How did those games prepare you guys for conference play at Nichols? They really prepared us a lot, you know, um, mostly up front because those are some big guys and they were, they were real strong and stuff. So we got to see them and they gave us a good look for um, the rest of the conference. Okay, talk about the uh, Nichols game specifically from a defensive standpoint. Uh, did you expect to play that well? Was it a little bit surprising how well you guys performed? And uh, what was the, the reason we were able to play that well defensively? Um, well, I think Coach Larry, Coach P, and Coach T, they gave us a, um, a good scheme, you know. We watched a lot of film and we kind of knew what they were going to run. And we had good athletes on defense, and we just came with it. Okay. Uh, let's go forward. Let's, let's talk one thing more about that, the shutout. Uh, 
had to be uh, gratifying to uh, get that zero at the end of the game. Yes, it showed a lot of our hard work, and it was like our first shutout in a long time. So I was really happy to get that for our team. Okay, let's look forward to Saturday night at home, Turpin Stadium against McNeese. Obviously, McNeese is a team that's uh, always a challenge and one of the contenders in the conference. Tell me what you expect to see from McNeese. Um, they have a lot of talent over there, and I expect them to come with it, and we'll have to step it up and match them, and we'll just have to work hard this week at practice. Talk about the 1-0 start, uh, how valuable that is to our team. Uh, it's, it's a huge thing for us right now, um, especially with our past seasons um, and the class that we have now as seniors, which have been through so much, to finally start conference off 1-0, and especially beat Nichols, who we always seem to have trouble with, no matter what it is. Uh, to start off with, with a great game like we played, is it, it does so many things for our team and our confidence level. Okay, same question I've asked earlier. Uh, Playing LSU and SMU back to back was obviously a big challenge. How did that benefit the team coming into conference play and going forward? Well, I think all both those games and the Delta State game played a huge dividend for us and uh, really helped us not only on the physical aspect um, because we played some some great athletes at LSU and with SMU, uh, but more in the fact that that we were tested physically uh, in finishing games. Um, at, for example, Delta State, we were down. That was a really good football team, and we were able to come back and win. And whenever we played LSU, we were also down by a lot, but we kept playing very hard. I told you after the LSU game, that was one of the hardest games I've ever seen a team play. And to, to, to be able to play hard at that level really did a lot of things for our team, and so we can bounce off of that. And then with a win like this, like I said, just confidence level is just at all-time high. All right. Um, special teams was a big part of the success on Saturday. Uh, talk about the special teams play. Well, I thought we did really good in all aspects of special teams. Um, our return game was great on, on punts. Um, Sheep did a great job for us. Uh, I'm not sure what he averaged, but he averaged over, over 15. And, and that, that, that set up our offense really great. Um, luckily, we only had to use our kickoff return once. And so, but well, we, got, we got a big time return out of that. And our, our, our kickoff did, did well. Um, we were kicking off a lot, which is always a great thing. Um, that probably could improve. Um, and then, uh, obviously, we didn't have to use field goal block. Um, but but all, for all, all aspects, special teams really played well on Saturday, I thought. Okay. Most importantly, our power return there. You've got a unique perspective in that you get to watch the offense and the defense play. Uh, what did you see out there Saturday that you really liked and encouraged you? Uh, well, we came out strong. We, we, we didn't start out flat. We, we, we turned the ball over, but we got that back with another turnover. We won the turnover ratio. And we played, like I said, with a lot of confidence. Um, well, we, we started off fast, we stayed fast, we really, you know, added salt to the wound, so to speak, and, and kept on pushing through and we didn't let up. And that was something that I really, that I really liked watching and, and really liked being a part of, that we, that we started out fast and we stayed fast, both on defense and in offense. And finally, uh, talk about the McNeese game and the uh, challenge and opportunity on Saturday night. Well, it's, it's obvious that the conference runs through McNeese. Uh, you can't win this conference without beating McNeese. And um, that's, that's, that's the number, number one test we have. They're going to be a great football team like they are every single year. It's a great program. But, but we have to understand that, that we're just as good, if not better, than them. And if we play our game, we execute like we did on Saturday, and like we've done all year, we'll, we'll, we'll be just fine.